a problem from group theory and the problem is if A is only element of order N in a group G then show that A belongs to Z of G. Now what is Z of G? Z of G is the center of the group right and the definition of Z of G is this is X such that XG this is equal to GX for all G belongs to G and X obviously belongs to G and this is a subset of G and we know that this is a subgroup of G and overall it is also a normal subgroup of G okay this is said to be center of the group and we here use the concept of conjugate element we first say that what is conjugate element in a group a belongs to g then for all g belongs to g there it is g a g inverse this is also belongs to g because since g belongs to g and a belongs to g so by easily closure property here apply and this is belongs to g and this element that is g a g inverse is said to be conjugate element of a okay and the property of conjugate element is order of a and order of g a g inverse are same okay now it is given that a is the only element of order n that is order of a this is equal to n imply a to the power a this is equal to e so for all g belongs to g there exist conjugate of a as g a g inverse is also belongs to g now g a g inverse whole square we know that this is equal to g a g inverse into G A G inverse and this is G A G inverse G A G inverse by associative property. So this is G A E A G inverse and this gives G A square G inverse. Okay, and by similar argument or by repeating this process, we get the result as G A G inverse whole to the power n this is equal to G A to the power n G inverse okay and this is obviously G E G inverse because A to the power n this is equal to E it is given here okay and this is G G inverse this is equal to E and we already here says that the order of a and order of conjugate element are same so we say that order of g a g inverse this is equal to a but it is given that a is the only element of order n okay that is a this is the only element of order n in this group so this two element a and g a g inverse must be same element so we get or we write here since a is only element of order n so we can write a this is equal to g a g inverse and we get a g this is equal to g a g inverse and this gives a g this is equal to g for all g belongs to g okay and this relation gives a is such that the element a is such that this is this is able to commute every element of g okay and since a is able to commute with every element of g so we say that a must be in the center of the group because this is the definition of the center of the group and we write that a belongs to z of g 
okay and this is our proof very very easy problem and this is also from your university paper thank you thank you for watching